Welcome to another exciting episode of I Assure You We're Broken. Hey, what's up, Brandon? Oh, man. Um, you know, not much. I, uh, I, uh, I got the new part for Marge Simpson. <laughs> you sound great. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, because we were talking before and I, you know, was talking a little lower. And now that I'm trying to, like, project a little bit, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's rough. Give me some lower registers. Uh, yeah, you want something down here? Is that what you want, baby? Yeah. yeah. Kind of. What does that sound like? Yeah. 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 You want you want to you want to talk to me about something? Huh? You uh-huh. Go down low. <laughs> yeah. You want to go down real low? Yeah. Yeah. That's the nice thing about chest colds. You get real low. <laughs> <laughs> the, only, the only low register I know is fucking Carl from fucking <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What are you talking about, Fry Man? Yeah. Let's get down low. Get the fuck out of my pool. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck what that was a great show. We could just talk about how fucking shitty my voice sounds for the first fifteen minutes. Yeah. Uh I do love Alquatine. Uh did you see the new uh season that they're doing? No. They redid I, the I, opening and it's uh much better am- animation and it looks really weird because it's like you could tell they have a budget now. Uh there was a a recent movie, if I'm not mistaken, that they did uh Never got to check it out though. I um Yeah, no, I didn't uh I didn't get to watch the movies. I think you own the 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 first movie, right? No, I wish I did. Yeah. Well that'd be a good gift for you. I might have owned it at one point, but there was a um a series of letting people borrow shit and then uh purging my own collection that uh, now I can't keep track of what went where. Yeah. Um I was, you know, those controllers I sent you, the one, the Xbox controllers that I, the custom yeah, ones. Yeah. That's your, that's your, that's your birthday present this year. No, I, I was gonna get you that cotton candy one. That's pretty hot, man. Yeah, I made it myself. I'd use the shit of it. Xbox Game Labs. Yeah, I was, and you can, uh, you can, uh, you can put like a little laser engraving on it. And I was gonna put Zaku on it. Oh, that's cool. I thought so. Will it make me buy Cunnilingual? <laughs> uh, uh yes yes <laughs> i just came up with that <laughs> uh uh-huh. <laughs> Hey, look at this dude. He's fucking bicuttilingual. I just got two chicks stacked on top of each other. Oh. Wow. <laughs> uh, they got to go belly to belly, though, because you don't want an ass. Maybe they have to be in the getting in the way. Well, maybe they have to speak different languages too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or is it? Uh, well, yeah. It's, it's the it's... bilingual, bicunnilingual. <laughs> <laughs> Bicunnilinguistics. <laughs> Can I get certified in it? Can I take a college course on it? Can we watch instructional <laughs> videos? <laughs> uh. If you eat enough pussies at the same time. <laughs> you could be a tri a tri kind of lingual. What's it called when you can <laughs> just fucking speak a shit ton of languages? A polyglot. <laughs> <laughs> it already sounds kind of sexual if you just, you know, have a dirty mind. Uh, hey, you fucking poly- guys, a, poly- a polyglot. What is Look it? A that poly- fucking- it's a fucking polyclit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a polygunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> oh fuck yeah the glot you know because that should be a shirt though man but by kind of lingual <laughs> oh my fucking god that should be our first merch say hi, <laughs> hi i'm by kind of lingual <laughs> ask ask me about my by kind of lingual or is this hi my name is by kind of lingual <laughs> <laughs> oh can we please <laughs> 
Can we, we please? Should just, uh, we should just partner with one of those, like, I don't want to say shitty t-shirt companies, but uh, one of, one <laughs> yeah, of those ones know. that's like a made-to-order thing. We design the t-shirt. and they just, China. And they just, <laughs> well, they print them as they're ordered, right? <laughs> or we have to buy so much, um, we buy so much that they warehouse. Yeah. And then. Well, I think it's. um. But we don't. We I don't, think that Amazon might have something like that. Tea, you can do Teespring it. does a thing. We don't have to do. Uh, we don't have to worry about shipping anything out. Basically, yeah. Teespring will do that for us. But it's oh, a, okay, an affordable way for us to get. Um, and like then we can made, just drop the link. Order. Yeah, and then and, and we don't have to store anything. Yeah, I forgot how much down it's going to be though. But it's not. Oh, you you, do, you put a down payment. Well, because there's so many t-shirts that they print if i understand oh, okay. it correctly because okay. they warehouse like a small bulk of t-shirts but yeah. it's cheaper than when i printed shit for our band really so well we'll have to look into that but you know yeah. comment down below if you guys would want to fucking buy <laughs> buy kind of lingual t-shirt uh that's the first merch for <laughs> ultramata it's been uh floated the idea has been floated many times before but that might really be it yeah um and then next year we can promote the Tri Cunnilingus <laughs> sequel t shirt. Dude, that was. Whew, that, what an intro. <laughs> it's just uh, it's just women bent over, but in the shape of the Tri <laughs> <laughs> And it says Tri Cunnilingual. <laughs> the hero oh. of thigh rule. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because it's because like, a, like if a girl's in like doggy, you know, her yeah, legs. Yeah. And so she's almost like a triangle. Yeah. Thanks for explaining it. And we could use their shadows as kind of the bottom of the triangle. Yeah. Or maybe a little pool of spit and <laughs> pussy <laughs> juice. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Is that too far? No, no I'm, I'm, sh I'm shaking my head in disapproval. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Agree um, to disagree, brother. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, what the fuck were we talking about? I don't know. We said, welcome to the show. And you're like, I'm sick. Look at me. I Ooh. sound like fucking Marge Simpson and Carl. Voice. Fucking did bicunnilingus. Uh, GME. <laughs> bicunnilingus. Bicunnilinguistics. <laughs> bicunnilinguus. Ugh. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Coffee good. Yeah, man, my coffee's not so good, but it is what it is, brother. Mine had um, seven shots of espresso in it, so I'm I'm probably mm. gonna die. Yep, that's why I didn't get that. Yep. I feel like I have to it. blow my nose, so you're gonna hear like a yeah, little sniffles. Let's so see. it's cold. We record in a very cold space because we're poor. Yeah, and it's cold. Also, so. it's kind of like we're in the movie The Thing. You even kind of look like. R.J. McCready with your... No, you look like R.J. McCready. Shut up. No, yeah, I don't. You no, look... I was going to say with your blue hoodie, like remember when he's got his hood up and yeah. it's like blue? Yeah, but you got like the beard. And, <laughs> like, I like you're handsome. Man. Like, like, you got the beard and the alcoholism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you and uh, R.J. McCready have in common? Um, No, what? My desire to suck your cack. <laughs> Just uh, kidding. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. But... Uh, Seriously, though, do hit me up after the show. Uh, also, uh, Kurt Russell, if you listen. I know you are a longtime fan. so Dude, I can't wait to, to watch Monarch Legacy of Monsters because it's got fucking Kurt Russell in it. And his son, Wyatt Russell, is playing younger him. So there's flashbacks in the fucking show. Oh. And they're playing the same character. And I'm like, my mind is just... Uh, Monarch is the uh, organization that yeah. is like the secret... Yeah. Uh, government, world, world government organization that knows about all the big uh, monsters or tries uh, uh -huh. to do experiments on them. Yep. See, I knew that. It was just rattling around in my head. Um, so hear me out. Uh, Wyatt Russell has said he's not interested in doing sequels to his dad's movies, like as as such as Kurt Russell's characters. Right. But hear me out. What if they just followed that Monarch uh, Legacy of Monsters format? And they're like, here's a sequel to The Thing where it's old, old man McCready and yeah. they flash back to young McCready and it's his son. Yeah. And then they do Big Trouble Little China. Two. Yeah. And it's old man, um, uh, don't tell me, don't tell me, uh, uh, Barton, don't tell me. Uh, it's, a, it's a simple name. Sh sh you, know, you know what? Monosyllabic. Uh, 
God damn it, Brandon. You know what good old Jack Barton always hey. says in the time of this? <laughs> yeah, he could. So old Jack Barton, flashback to young Jack Barton. Yeah. Uh, I'd be more interested in the Big Trouble in Little China reboot, but only if we got John Carpenter back. And, uh, well, I kind of feel like you would need drugs. Yeah, but he's all like, I just want to play Xbox. Yeah, and uh, check out this bass riff. <laughs> doom, doom. Doom, doom. You're like, yeah, John, He's thanks. like, have you guys heard of anime? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really into anime, fellow kids. This is my John Carpenter. That's, uh, that's my John Carpenter. <laughs> hey, have you guys seen anime? <laughs> I, I can't, I can't go, I can't come eat dinner right now, mom. I'm playing Xbox. <laughs> it's me, John Carpenter. What food did he say he just wants to eat? He's just like, <laughs> I don't he know. like made a statement where he's like, yeah, yeah. I just want to eat pussy and play <laughs> Xbox. <laughs> yeah, he's like, movies are cool, but I just want to eat Doritos and play <laughs> Xbox. This is what I have my fucking Doritos, my Mountain Dew, and my fucking Xbox controller that says anime waifu on it. And he's like, well, I'll come back for Dead Space. Let me do Dead Space. <laughs> Dead Space the movie by John Carpenter. I'm going to get Kurt uh, Russell in it. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, he's, he can be Isaac Asimov or whatever the fuck that guy's name is, and he's just in a helmet the whole time. So it could be uh, yeah. Yeah, it could be Wyatt Russell could do all the stunt work, and then Kurt Russell oh, could just yeah. do the voice. Yeah. I'm I sure like, Kurt Russell would be into voice work. I like that, yeah. He's got a, a sultry, sexy little voice like my main man, uh, Zaku, over here. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah. I was listening to... He's uh, flattering me today. Well, you know, I was listening to our last... Uh, episode and i was like ugh why do i why do i have such a like nasally high-pitched whiny voice and then you well zach talking. welcome back to the epi- that's it, not what you sound that like it is what like. i sound no like. and then you come in and you're like hey uh i have a deep voice <laughs> and i uh i'm really funny and hot and i'm like what the fuck dude oh okay yeah. yeah, I think you're just trying to make up for being late. You're just like, <laughs> <laughs> like no, you Zach, can't. you look so good today, man. Oh my god, dude, you're so hey, and your hey, voice is Zach, Zach. Oh, hey, oh, you're so hot and cute. Oh, and you got a good voice. Your Com- voice is amazing, Zach. Comparatively, uh, so yeah, you know, I mean, you know, whatever. God, I try, try to pay a compliment, but you're so fucking damaged. You can't. You have to like. I am. <laughs> That, that might be what it is, brother. I can't. I can't take the compliments. I'm like, yeah, I'm funny or whatever. Hey, what's what's the ulterior motive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's how I am. The paranoia and the the uh, the, 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 the 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 you know the uh, general uh, unwillingness to uh, accept reality for what it is. Yeah, the backstab lingual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's still funny. Oh, wow. <laughs> by, I, don't know, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know where that came from, dude. I was just like, <laughs> my brain was like, say bi kind of like. Oh, yeah. We were just talking about Xbox controllers. And, uh, you were like, will that make me bi kind of lingual? <laughs> it's like, absolutely it will. It would have yeah. made more sense if you're like, I'm giving you a headset. And yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. It would have made me buy kind of like. <laughs> I mean, Zach, I I'm know. getting you a Google brain implant. Oh, <laughs> it would have made, made me buy kind of <laughs> Like, I'm getting you a controller you hold with your hands. <laughs> would it get me pussy? <laughs> would it allow me to speak to different pussies? <laughs> yes, that's right. Absolutely. Uh we we'll just carry the whole podcast on my kind of lingo. <laughs> I can eat uh, women of different cultures' pussies now. <laughs> now I can eat Spanish pussy. You have to roll your R for Spanish pussy. You got to trail the clitoris. And for Japanese pussy, you get chopsticks. Yeah, for the Japanese pussy, when you get to the R in the alphabet, you make an L. Like you already did that one. Oh no, 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 no! It's it's. Uh... It's fine. Let's stop, uh, let's stop talking about eating pussy. It's uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're yeah. 15 minutes in, so we got to. That's gotta, good. Yeah. Well, we had a, a little bit of a false start that I'll have to edit out. Thanks, but, um, <coughs> but uh, well, I can't talk today, man. I don't know. It's all right. Um, 
I tried to do that intro, like, blah, 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 blah. See, this is why you're, like, like, thinking about tongue, bike on a it's, <laughs> the, it's the tongue cramps, you know? Oh, fuck. Um, She's like, are you okay? And I'm like, ah, fuck, just give me a minute. My jaw is on fire. <laughs> Been doing jaws their size. Um, my, uh, so my topic that I really wanted to get to was uh, my skinwalker theory, which is yeah. not going to take 15 minutes of our time. But <clears throat> oh, I, I, um. <laughs> it took me like 37 seconds to come up with it. Okay. And because we, we have a group chat with the band, mm-hmm. uh, Murphy and the Death Race. It's a good band that we're in. And uh, I forget how it got brought up, but um, skinwalkers came up and I was like, have you ever considered, have you ever considered that... <laughs> Uh, we're the skinwalkers uh, because if you think about it you know we go out into their like animals environment and then we often will uh, cover themselves in our in our in their scent we'll cover ourselves in their scent we'll we'll uh, use uh, devices to imitate their voices like deer calls and such uh, and then we'll t- turn their skin into clothing so that's that's my my uh, stoner theory where you go. Oh, what if we're the aliens? Yeah. Um, just a couple questions on that. Uh, why would they? Why would they then describe it as they become they become the animal? Like no, can, it's a very stupid <clears throat> idea that doesn't hold up under <clears throat> scrutiny. No, I I don't look, man. I don't hate it. I'm just saying. Okay, so they're like. No, it's it's just specifically designed. I was gonna do like a racist Native American voice, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> he donned the skin of a wolf. Yeah, it's Is, it just Jesse Ventura. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like here, check out my Marge Simpson, uh, homie. <laughs> so the, they'll be like, yeah, it could be like they can turn into a fucking uh, falcon or um, yeah. Or a wolf. Do you, do you know the the uh, Native American lore of the Skinwalkers? Uh, apparently, only uh, only like a chief a chieftain can uh, tell you how to become one or how to kill one. Well, supposedly, uh, but it says they're a medicine man that's yeah. just dabbled in dark arts. Yeah. Now I don't know how that turns you into a fucking wolf. Uh, well, I think it's specifically cannibalism. So yeah. it's like you can get no, into that. You can. That's like Wendigo, though. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah that is Wendigo. Wendigoism. Cannibalism. <laughs> by by, kind of Wendigo. I tried it. It's, it was a stretch. By Wendelingus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love those uh, those those Wendigo memes where you're like out, out here in, in the woods in the middle of the night looking for that Windusy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, the Wendigo is taken multiple ways too. They're like, it's someone uh, who uh, is like an evil person. Well, who... you, you, so the spirit of the Wendigo possesses you, and that's why you commit cannibalism, and, oh. then, and then you're transformed into the Wendigo. But there's been reports of people who were Wendigo that didn't actually transform; they kept their human form by resisting the uh, cannibalism. No, or... they. But the thing is, there's a never satiating hunger, so oh, they okay. still eat people. But they they had uh, they had parasites. <laughs> the, the craving never stops, which I think they're just describing some kind of issue with the brain at that point. Maybe. Well, I I was thinking tapeworms because like you're never satiated. There was a whole episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia mm-hmm. where Frank fucks with uh, uh, D and and Charlie, and uh, they're like they he makes them think that they ate human meat, and now they have the hunger. <laughs> and it's really cause, just because they like ate raccoon meat or something oh, and they got a tapeworm. <laughs> so they're just like, I'm, I'm so hungry. <laughs> and then they like are walking past people on the street and they're like, did you, I, did you want to eat that guy just now? I totally wanted to fucking eat that guy. I'm so hungry. Like, it's, it's great. It's great. It's good shit. And what were we talking about? Wendigo. <laughs> Wendigo. And then we got on that from from Skinwalkers. My brain is Anyways, look, look, man. Mashed potatoes. The, the Wendigo, not important. Um <clears throat> Oh yeah, skinwalkers. Skin yeah, yeah. Um, so, me, so, well, something I heard was like, "Tell me what you know." Skinwalkers would only be found near like Native American reservations, right? Where, where there's still an active Native Amer- American people. And my question was, uh, what's stopping them from like taking a bus or a car or fucking walking their skinwalker ass uh, across 
the U.S. to any anywhere else. Yeah. Because uh, I don't know if like, I don't think Missouri would be considered skinwalker territory. Yet you hear in like multiple states you would think wouldn't be skinwalker territory. Um, they said uh, possible skinwalker reports, basically. Um, or people claim to have skinwalker encounters. And then you'll get people going, well, that's not possible because there's not native american people nearby and i'm like well what's is there is it a creature or not yeah is is <laughs> it uh is that a rule that yeah. they like their powers only work with the within the vicinity is of, it like voodoo yeah just do they draw power from specifically native american people or is it they're drawing power from uh dark magic in nature right like they're wearing the skin of animals and becoming them uh-huh yeah yeah i don't know because it's like it's not like the native americans got to pick which lands they kept hmm. you know when we corralled them into reservations and then slowly stole more and more also, of that Brandon, protected land so talking about the skinwalker makes him appear <laughs> yeah it, bring, it actually brings bad luck in that the uh if you talk about a skinwalker um now you're more likely to encounter a skinwalker good and and i uh i'm gonna attribute that to uh, sorry <laughs> fuck i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna attribute that to uh when you know when you're thinking about something uh, and then you notice it oh right like when you uh break hack into the matrix and you're like you know i never see green cars <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, there's a lot of green cards out today. Yeah, yeah. What, what are you... <laughs> I don't know why that's... Hacking the Matrix. Yeah, right? hacking the Matrix. No, it's... Um, yeah, you you bring something up. It's when you even have a thought, you're like... You're like, man, oh, I... man, I never see big titty goth girls. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I, uh, man, I never see Timmy anymore. And then Timmy, like, knocks on your door that day. You're like, Timmy? And he's like, hey, man, I haven't seen you in a while. I thought I'd drop by. You're like, so fucking crazy. Yeah, I was just, I thinking, was just about thinking about you. And then you stop and think, like... Oh, oh fuck. fuck, this is like a grand design. Everything's made for me. Yeah. And this shit's just like... <laughs> you just start having delusions of grandeur, like I'm the only person who's real. <laughs> uh, so maybe it's like... Yeah, I have those thoughts. Yeah. yeah, maybe it's like one of those... Yeah, me too. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe it's one of those things... Uh, what if we're halfway there? What if we're the only two real people? <laughs> oh, we're halfway there. Oh... Only two real people. <laughs> oh fuck! Sorry. That was a good. That was some good vocals. <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to think of a funny rhyme involving Hank Hill. <laughs> I just can't. I can't do anything today. Oh, Texas State Fair. There you go. That's all I got. Okay, that's good. I like it. <sighs> Whoa! Hey. Pass me a beer. Take my hand, we'll make it, I swear. Oh! Peggy's over there. That was good. There All you right. go, there it is. Uh, what do you think of the uh, Skinwalker Ranch? Hang on, hang on, dude. Oh, 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 <laughs> Fuck oh, you. Hold on, dude. Fuck you, dudesy. Oh, hold on, oh, hold on, dude. You were, you were going to say something. We were talking about Timmy... Showing up at your house, and you were like, "If you think about it," and then I interrupted you. Oh, no, don't worry about it. That's, okay, <laughs> you're like, just, uh, you know, you know, I just reiterate things until it fucking gets unlistenable. That I was just gonna do that. <laughs> Where you just go in a circle. I just like, say the same thing because well, well I don't. On, dude. Well, I don't remember I said it. I don't remember I said it, so I just say. We're gonna it we're gonna fucking move on, but I just want to hang on. I just want to make sure I get my point across here, and then you restate the same the thing. The same that you thing, and, you're and like, I'm like, God, all right, I, I'm a fucking terrible podcaster. Yeah. <laughs> No, uh, have you watched the Skinwalker Ranch shit on Netflix? Um, I I don't know. I don't remember. Um, it's not terrible, but there's just weird shit that happens, um, and you're just not sh not sure how to take it. Like, I think it's there's. It's, I think it works better as um, a text, like something to read about, because yeah. then you read about like the the cattle mutilation and things like that, and that's more compelling as like an anecdotal thing and then you look at the evidence and like yeah see that it's a picture of a uh, cow yeah. well, uh, turned I mean, inside out and you're like yeah, but regardless it's hard to read anything or see anything from skinwalker ranch without being completely skeptical and just go bullshit yeah so i'm watching the what show it was dry lightning but it's ball lightning bro. <laughs> so we don't know what it is but it's something that we made up to explain what it could be yeah 
but we don't. We've never witnessed ball we've lightning. We've never actually proven that it's real. Yeah, we it's, don't. It's ball lightning, even though ball lightning <clears throat> has not been proven to exist. Yeah. Yet. Um, it's theoretical. Skinwalker Ranch. There was a part where they they have all these cameras set up because they're like, we're gonna fucking catch something. Yeah. This fucking billionaire bought Skinwalker Ranch and he brought in these specialists to try to figure out what the fuck is going on there. Right. We're gonna run some tests and see what the fuck is going on. Here. Right. Yeah. So they set up all these cameras and they're like, oh. Camera C went down. What's going on with camera C? And they go out there, and the fucking like wires have been stripped from it. And they're like, "What the fuck?" And they try to look at the cameras that are next to it to see what happened. It's like the cameras are running, but they didn't catch anything. In fact, that though that period of time is just missing. It's like it's like it never happened. And you're like, "Awesome, thank you." Holy fuck! Yeah. I'm going to watch something else now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just becomes like the anything else. But with that's, like the, that's big, the whole hunting, show. Searching for Bigfoot or anything. It's the whole show is like, what the fuck's happening? Oh, this is fucking crazy. What is that? I don't know. What's happening? I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> and, and it's not just like one documentary. It's a fucking episodic documentary. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know, like five or seven episodes. I mean, and this is the this is the problem is like the only way to have an experience that's meaningful is to actually go there because I'm not going to watch. I can't watch anything that's like haunt. Like we talked about it last episode where I, where I went to the Missouri State Penitentiary in Jeff City. It's like the old one that's not in front. It's, it's a tourist location. And yeah. even though nothing happened, it is interesting to go in and be yeah. in those places. Now you're in a big it's, tourist group, so you feel safe. But I was going to say, I, I would imagine it. It's probably creepy. It would probably be creepier if you were like there. If you were there with like one or two other people, probably yeah. be way creepier. Yeah, like do a private tour. But then they, that's when they they tell you stories. So they're like, we had a photography crew come in for a private tour, and then the, this woman saw her husband go down into the uh, the showers in the main uh, prison area. But then he was behind her outside loading equipment, and we think that was a doppelganger, which is an yeah. evil spirit that was trying to get her down there to fucking molester or whatever are you a doppelganger yeah <laughs> probably i don't know god come on man you can't just ask me that <laughs> come on dude don't fucking do that to me come on you know what do you think of doppelgangers man no i don't know I, 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 out there living their life you know it's like what would you do if someone's like hey man i saw you getting <clears throat> coffee today and you're like I what would you do and what would you do if someone saw you out getting coffee <laughs> but you were at home Jacking it off and being bi kind of lingual. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking yourself for the third time. I would uh, I would uh, hunt down my doppelganger and then... It's the like, first fucking day of uh, the weekend. I, and you can't get out of bed. <laughs> it's the first fucking day of the weekend. And you're covered in cum instead. Yeah. So anyways, you know, I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, li- I like the idea of doppelgangers. Or what if they're like, very... hey, hey, dude, what was up with you last night? You're like, what? I saw you at the bar and you wouldn't even fucking talk to me. You're like, I wasn't at the bar. Yeah, okay, asshole. Yeah. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. If you don't want to be friends, just fucking yeah. don't, don't check it out. me along. I took a picture of you. That's you being an asshole. Yeah. Look, you're just sitting there yeah. like an asshole. Yeah. See and, that? And then you, uh, you, uh, you're, it has like your clothes on. Yeah. Would you think that it was a doppelganger? <laughs> Would that be your first thought? Or you'd be like, fuck, I need to go to the doctor. I'm clearly like, I'm having like <laughs> lapses in memory. Well, that's, I think that's the first step is to ask your, ask your loved ones. Uh, like in my situation, I think there's a lot of people who can um, be like, where the fuck were you? A lot of accountability buddies, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, so right. Like, no, you were home. Yeah. So you could, you could, you could at least confirm your whereabouts. Yeah. I think that's the first step. The second step is, yeah. Wouldn't you want to find your doppelganger? Right. And merge with them to become your perfect self? Yeah. Well, I mean, what happens if you touch your doppelganger? What if you fight them and beat them in combat? Oh, and then like, like you like levitate off the ground and then like a glowing light from the heavens comes up and then you feel like twice as strong as you were before. Yeah. And they either vanish or their body raises up and glows and fuses with you. Oh, hi. We got a special delivery on the on the podcast. Brandon, would you like some food? This will be really good podcast content, dude. We're gonna eat right into the microphone. Sure. This Thank is, you, uh, Ashley. It's an English muffin with bacon and egg and cheese. That's fucking great. Yeah, let me uh, let me take a picture. Okay. Yep. Yeah, no, go ahead. Yep. No, pick no, it up. No, take the fucking pick, picture. Pick it. Take the picture, Brandon. All right. Thanks, babe. I love you. 
And we'll just put that into the episode. You guys can see what we're having for. Okay, I'm just gonna put this funds. into my mouth right now. Okay. Uh, mm, mm, mm. It's really good. Let me uh, zoom in so I don't get our shitty background. I heard they like it when you chew on a microphone. So. <laughs> ASMR. Which one would you? Which one would you prefer? That one. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I got a little a little on my face. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll put those in. We'll put those in the episode. And maybe I'll do a little uh I'll do a little color work, you know, crop it out a little bit, you know. Well, that's uh, you know, where that brings us to our our 30 minute mark. So, uh we can move on to oh, our man, next topic. We're just fucking we're zooming along we're here. We're flying through it, man. Um so, did you have any topics before we move on to my uh, next chosen topic? Nope. Okay, well, let's talk about how Kamala Harris is probably the Antichrist. Now, <laughs> biblically, the Antichrist is described as a, a compelling uh, a, a politician, but it's always like a man. But I was like, well, if it was really anti, like if we're going like comic book, like, you know, anti, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it make more sense if it was a woman? Yep. Because Jesus was a man. I'll buy into this. Okay. Uh, just, for, right. just for the sake of this segment. Uh, Kamala, prove uh, to us uh, that you don't have a penis. Okay. Oh, wait. That's not that's, what you're saying? That's Michelle. <laughs> 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 All right, wait, sorry. Were you talking about, I thought we were talking about Big Big Mike. I know I know you're trying to say, like, <laughs> well, maybe was... the Antichrist is a woman. But what I'm saying is, like, maybe the Antichrist is a man and maybe oh, Kamala Harris okay. is a man. Okay. So now, now we have to just... So here, here's my prediction, though, is uh, uh, this will be the, the beginning of the end. Uh, Joe Biden is going to die this year, and then uh, Kamala Harris will become the president, mm. thereby uh, fulfilling the prophecy, hmm. which I, doesn't fulfill the prophecy. <laughs> He's given a bunch of steps. But uh, oh, I was say, what <laughs> book are you reading? Just make it up. What if this? I'm like, I'm like a Hollywood writer where I kind of like have the gist of something, and I'm like, all right, that makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> you're you're the guy they brought in to write the sequel, but you didn't even watch the first movie. Yeah, I just like kind of like have a vague understanding of it, and then I yeah. go, yeah, this is true. Did, did you want the second one, no, or is no, that legitimately yours, for man. me? Yeah, oh my god! A- thank it's you, really Ashley. Good. Thank you. Even she listens the to the microphone. podcast, right? Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Like you usually, wanna... she'll listen to it until she can't, and that's when I'm doing. <laughs> that's when I'm doing Jesse Ventura. Yeah, that's that's when you know that we're onto something. Here, you get a picture of me eating. Take a bite, Brian. Brian. Oh, that's a good one. All the phone, uh, all the phone, all the pictures in the phone. Okay, I think I got. That sounds really good in my ear. <laughs> Mm. Oh my god, that's money right there, bro. Look at that. It's so tasty. It's really good. Um, fuck, what was I gonna say? What if uh what if we're just overthinking the Antichrist thing? And <laughs> anti Antichrist the Antichrist thing. Um What if we're just overthinking it? <laughs> <laughs> Hear me out. Let's say I gotta buy into this Christian bullshit. Okay. Antichrist. It's liter he literally looks like Jesus, <laughs> but like <laughs> Inverted colors. <laughs> like it dresses the same. Uh, well, he's like a mirror version. Yeah. Yeah, like he's still got like holes in his hands and feet, but they're like opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Opp- <laughs> Oppositely oriented. It's like if he can't have a different color beard, maybe he has the opposite of a beard. <laughs> She clean shaven. <laughs> it's so if we could render Jesus bald and, and beardless, like that's what <laughs> Antichrist would look like. Yeah, that's uh that's the American Dad <laughs> version of the Antichrist. <laughs> or no, I kinda like him looking just like Jesus but being completely inverted, like Yeah, I like that too. He's got black or blonde or white hair and uh he's actually a white man. Unlike the real Jesus. Like, there's no way. Who's that... Jewish? Uh, you know how many Jewish people aren't white, dickhead? <laughs> Jesus was a brown man. Get over it. 
He's a fucking he is a brown man and now the antichrist is white. It's going to be it's, He's going to look like he's, he's going to look he's Asian. <laughs> <laughs> it's Buddha. Uh, uh. my buddy thinks that if the devil still signed in soul contracts, you know, he's just outsourced it. <laughs> so <laughs> he doesn't do any of the work anymore. All these fucking, oh. all these fucking billionaires that uh, that have these uh, people under them signing these major <laughs> contracts, essentially signing their life away for um, big money deals. You know, right? He's like, yeah, that's just maybe the devil's just outsourced. So now he can just sit back and collect the souls, and other people get the signatures for him. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a team of underwriters working in Hollywood and el- el- elsewhere. <clears throat> Yeah, that's good shit, man. That's fucking good shit. So yeah. that's fucking money, dude. I guess in summary, I'm gonna have to go against your Kamala Harris thing now because I want inverted Jesus <laughs> to, to be the Antichrist. Yeah, no, I don't know why. Because sometimes you know when you're working, you just write a thought down, and you're like, "That would be funny to talk about." Uh, you know, I, I it's been you know. At least in my uh, sphere of influence, it's been repeated over and over again. All you, n- nobody knows where their fucking good ideas come from. It's almost like you're a transceiver for the universe, and then suddenly yeah. you go, well, "Kamala Harris is the Antichrist," and you're like, "All right, okay, yeah. let's write that one down." <clears throat> that's uh, that's all the songs I write, man. I'm just kind of like, I really want to write a song, and you try to force it out, it sucks. But then one day you're sitting there and you're like, "Fuck, I got an idea." pick up the guitar five to ten minutes later, you've either got a song or you've got a good start to a song. And then uh, maybe you can go back and put the work in and finish it. If if it's not one of those situations, like a lot of the times I'll pick up the guitar and write a song in like five to ten minutes. Yeah, like the idea, it's like the shit, girl. Just, the shit just floods into me. It's... You, we gotta we gotta finish Interdimensional Girl. I like, I like that one. Yeah. Although, you know, I like every song that we write, so I don't know. It's pretty cool. I wish... Uh, I want to figure out a better structure for it. I think it, the uh, ideas there. I think most of the lyrics are there. The melodies there. Just a better structure to tell a maybe a better story. I don't know. Yeah, it's got it's got a I lot of potential. Stop. I'm drinking <clears throat> I'm drinking non alcoholic beer, Brandon, and I cannot stop burping. <clears throat> you know the <clears throat> oh, they have a uh, um blue moon non alcoholic beer. Yeah. I thought it looked pretty interesting. I think everyone's just jumping on board now. It's a good idea. Uh, They're like, how do we appeal to alcoholics who are reformed? Non-alcoholic yeah. beer. Uh, I've tried the Bush non-alcoholic. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Heineken Zero Zero. Really Probably good. my favorite. Yeah. I like the Budweiser a lot. Um, I think it's a little more affordable than the other ones. Probably. Um, yeah. Heineken is expensive anyways. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you get a six pack and you spend as much as you do on a twelve pack of the Budweiser. Yeah, uh, I think Corona's got a fucking zero now. Oh, really? Yeah, that's surprising. It's like everyone's got zeros. Yeah, I got uh, drunk last night, which was a mistake because now we're <laughs> late for uh, <coughs> podcasting. But <clears throat> you know, I was like, uh, I'm sick, and uh, I don't want to. I didn't see anything. That was gross. <laughs> I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't see anything that was gross. <laughs> Uh, uh, I was sick and you know, you're not supposed to drink when you're sick, but I was like, well, fuck it. And, the drinking's um, fun. I'm going to do what I want. And, uh, got a drink. I had six portions of alcohol, mm. which was three drinks because I drink doubles. Mm. Um, and I thought then, you were going to justify it some other way. Like I had, I had six portions, which I wasn't really keeping track of. So who knows how much I drank? No, no, I, <laughs> I know, I, 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 I know that I have a problem. That's the mental gymnastics I would go through. Fuck, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I just like was doing. You know, I was making drinks. I don't know. I had like three drinks, and who knows how much alcohol I was. I <laughs> was just, I was just eyeballing it. Yeah. Uh huh. No, I have a jigger and all that, and. uh I was just eyeballing some puss. <laughs> Have you ever heard that skit? <laughs> no. It's an MC Chris skit that's just like, whatever happened to eyeballing some puss? Huh? You ever you ever stick your eyeball on some puss? <laughs> <laughs> like literally, literally like, all right, I'm going to put my eyeball on your clitoris and look left and right really fast. 
You tell me if you uh, like this, you sick bitch. <laughs> fuck. Uh, no, yeah. I, I, you know, alcohol is uh, pernicious, as they say, which just means troublesome. There you go. There's a word for you. Pernicious. It's fun. It's a fun thing to say. And especially with alcohol. And alcohol is a pernicious thing, you know, whatever Jordan Peterson says. And, and uh, it makes you, it makes you, uh, uh, it makes you promiscuous. It, make, it makes you promiscuous. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking, he is Kermit. That's right. He's yeah. fucking Kermit. The- oh. And he's Canadian. He's Canadian Kermit the Frog. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then when he's mad, it's funny because when he's mad at people, he really does call him buddy. So it's just like a fulfilling of the uh, the stereotype with the precedent set by South Park. I'm not your buddy, guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not your guy, friend. <laughs> oh, fuck. So anyways, I, I, I drank uh, despite my illness and then I suffered for it at 4 a.m. with a, a you know... I, I think I would have been fine, but I have that that neck injury. And then when I drink, I usually sleep with my chin on my chest. Like that's because I pass out. Uh, and yeah. then I wake up and my neck hurts really badly. How'd so. you get the, how'd you get the neck injury? Uh, go, the wrestling. You, you got taken to suplex city? No, I wish I would have been better. I got put in a, a sideways headlock. What, what asshole would do that to you? A nine year old wrestling kid the, yeah. at the all night skate. Oh, I remember you told me. Yeah. Yeah. We've talked about this. And uh, my my neck popped, and I didn't tap because I thought I was very tough. And then my neck popped again, and then I tapped because I like had like a non, and like an involuntary bodily response where my eyes immediately started water, like crying, like full yeah, yeah. full blown, like you know how like there's a build up to pain where you're like ah, yeah. and then you cry. It was like my body knew something was wrong, and or maybe it's because neck injuries and you know nerves. I don't know. It's very painful, but uh, yeah, instantly. Yeah. I think uh, pain will just trigger uh, what waterfalls of tears, yeah, like yeah. anime style. Yeah. Oh, well, it can at least. Yeah. Well, and it could be something to do with the neck injury because. Have you ever gotten your neck looked at? Yeah. And they don't think, they don't see that there's anything wrong other than it's straight instead of having like a C curve, which it's supposed to have like a reverse C uh, so you're like, doctor, put me in a headlock. <laughs> Maybe we could pop it back into fucking shape here. Yeah, it's like when somebody gets hit in the head Was and then the they kid's get really name smart. Brock Lesnar. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. He was very short. Brock Lesnar. No, I don't think it was him, but oh. uh, it could be. T- took you to Suplex City at the fucking skating <laughs> rink. <laughs> that was so irresponsible. Like, oh my god, Jerry, he's. He's got him. He's he's hitting him with the rollerblades. Yeah, that, that kid had uh, has issues. He was going for the kill, and I was just I was just trying to. I thought we were just doing something for fun, and he was like, "I want to hurt somebody." Oh, yeah. And he did. He hurt me bad. Just little balls of testosterone, even before our testicles drop. Yeah, apparently. You know what I'm saying, brother? I I mean, uh, he was incredibly strong, and I was like, "There's no way this kid's nine, because I was 13." But I was also like, you know. Feminine. <laughs> I was going to say. Effeminate, I, I should say. Not feminine. I hope you feel good about beating up a girl, dude. Yeah. Yeah, that's when I had my long hair and my tits. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, oh, my neck. Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. And then I wept the rest of the night. So you see that girl got put in a fucking headlock? Yeah. You made that girl cry. And then everybody <laughs> just kind of, <laughs> you know, that was the days before the internet, man. Or I mean, the internet was around, but like. People didn't have fucking I'm porn listening on their phones. To, I'm listening to too much dudesy because I wanted to do the. <laughs> that was a different time, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 hold on, hold on, dude. Hold on, hold on, dude. Oh, it's so good. Uh, we love dudesy. This that's what this episode's called. We love dudesy. Yeah. I wish there was a. No, wait. Wasn't that your idea? Yeah, but I was gonna, oh. I was gonna do, I was gonna <laughs> do something. AI driven episode. Well, not necessarily AI driven, but like uh, remember when Super Mega typed in and just did AI prompts and read them aloud? Oh yeah, yeah, like thinking, they uh, they did Super Mega um, fan fiction. Yeah, yeah, it, that was a fucking great episode. I was thinking something along the lines of that, but because uh, we don't have a, you know we don't have a, a seemingly sentient AI running our show like Dudesy does. So allegedly, we, uh, we can never be Dudesy. Um, 
No, I, just, I, no, I just say sentient because that's that's kind of a running joke because he's becoming sentient. Probably. What's wrong with that? Nothing, man. All what, right. What's it called whenever? Oh, like the event horizon kind of thing. It's singularity. Like singularity. There it is. There, yep. See? Yeah, I knew, yeah. I knew what you were thinking. And Sing- I, singularity is when uh, uh, machine intelligence gets sentience, but it's also uh, something to do with black holes, right? I learned that when I was in college majoring in, for bicunnilinguistics. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say in, in uh, something, something Joe Rogan, but that's fine. <clears throat> well, uh, we've got about... Uh, 15 minutes left in the podcast anything you want that's, to talk about we haven't t- done any topics from you that's great we I, I, we actually ran long on that last uh, topic segment <clears throat> yeah you know what I want to talk about now that we're talking about it um, tell me what tell me what you want to talk about brother uh, the, one of the matches for the Royal Rumble just got confirmed on WWE Jesse Ventura's back it's uh, Roman Reigns is going to be defending his undisputed universal WWE championship at the Royal Rumble. They had a triple threat last night on SmackDown to, to determine the number one contender. It was Randy Orton versus AJ Styles versus LA Knight. Winner takes the number one contender spot. However, after a long bout, a bloody match, a decent match, Roman Reigns came out with the bloodline and decided to interfere and attack them and demolish them all. He was in the ring gloating, proud of what he did. But the new general manager, Nick Aldis, he's not taking any bullshit from Roman anymore. He said, he told Paul Heyman, he's uh, Roman Reigns' manager. He says, tell Roman after he's done celebrating, congratulations. And Paul Heyman says, for what? And Nick Aldis says, well, he just earned himself a fatal four-way match at the Royal Rumble and walked off. So that means at the Royal Rumble, like getting into more of the old school, ju- let me tell you something, gorilla. <laughs> that's how we, that's how I used to talk on WWF when I was a commentator. I used to do color commentary. Anyways, the Royal Rumble is now Roman Reigns versus Randy Orton versus AJ Styles versus L.A. Knight for the Universal Undisputed WWE Championship. Oh, cool! So, <clears throat> who are you? Who so? Uh, who, <coughs> who are you hoping? Uh, so that's that's what I want to talk about. Who are you hoping to take home the belt? You know, I'm I'm really tired of Roman being champion. So. Uh, Anybody at this point. L.A. Knight's my boy. I think he's my favorite. But I love Randy Orton. Love AJ Styles. I don't see Roman Reigns losing the belt until WrestleMania. which Yeah, is, yeah they got to pay off the storyline. And it's not going to be till April. And then they did some shit. The Rock just fucking came back. And now uh, The Rock is hinting at challenging for the head of the table. Because, you know, they're all family. Uh, the Rock is related Ch- to the- challenging Roman Reigns. So or- Roman Reigns calls himself the head of the table, uh-huh. and he runs the bloodline. Just so happens, it's his family members who also happen to be the Rock's family members. And the Rock just hinted about hinted at sitting at the head of the table. Apparently, the whole reason they formed the whole head of the table gimmick was to get to Roman versus Rock. Uh, multiple things have come up where that's just not been possible for like the last three fucking years, and it looks like it might finally happen. We just don't know when. Uh, oh, so they will have a match. Uh, hopefully, yeah. it's my guess is either Elimination Chamber or WrestleMania. But that that brings so, up so many problems. Right. I I I want. Do you think they're trying to do that to legitimize Roman Reigns? But I feel like he's if he's already been the champion for four years. Well, here's the thing. I don't want. I mean, does he need to be legitimized? I, think, I don't. Rock? I don't want the Rock to have the belt. So I think you can. He do has a, to lose. I think you could do a situation where Roman loses the belt, uh-huh. and then the Rock is like, you "See, you're not fit to be the head of the table," and he's like, oh, "I'm, okay. I'm going to take it back to bring the family to greatness." And then you can have a match to see who's going to run the family, and yeah, that would work. Yeah, yeah, because that way you don't got to worry about the fucking belt. Because if you put the belt in there, you automatically know Roman's winning because there's no well, way they're yeah. going to put the fucking belt on the rock. Who's... That's my question is like he Roman can't do any matches without putting his belt on the line. 
No, he can do matches without putting the belt on the line. But I also feel like if Roman has the belt and The Rock is challenging him, it's going to be winner take all. Oh, okay. I don't think there's a situation where he's like, now I'm head of the table, but you're still the champion. That doesn't make sense. <clears throat> well, I mean, yeah, not really. But I thought they were, I mean, I, I'm so out of the loop on wrestling. But d- d- yeah, isn't so this the, a great topic for our podcast? I fucking, I don't care. Um, uh, Where was I going with this? <clears throat> I want Roman to lose the fucking belt. I think Cody Rhodes will take it off of him at Mania if they don't do Rock versus Roman at Mania. But, I, you know, I'd rather look, LA Knight, but that's fine. Fuck, dude, they can mix it up. Like, because uh, like Cody Rhodes just came back, didn't he? No, he's he uh, came back over a year ago. He won. Well, that's basically he, just came back. LA Knight's been there for. He tore his peck and then he was gone for like six months and then he came back and won the Royal Rumble. Then he lost at Mania, so this year he would have to win the Royal Rumble again to get to Mania or win the Elimination Chamber. So there's multiple ways they could do the Elimination Chamber. Uh, Tearing a pectoral muscle, Jesus yeah, Christ. It, and he wrestled with it torn, and it was all fucking purple and black and shit. It looked brutal. Mm. Um, yeah, now this is going to take me forever to fucking explain. But Elimination Chamber, can they could do it for a number one contender spot, or they could put the belt in the match. Uh, and there, there's just so many fucking directions they can go. My my guess right now is Cody Roman Mania. I'm not sure how they fucking get there. And if it's not that, it's going to be fucking Roman versus Rock. But that doesn't make me less excited for the uh, Royal Rumble. I think seeing Roman in there with the odds stacked against him is always good. So you think they're going to be gunning for Roman? I think they sh- I think... Uh, because they could just do a work on him. I think at the Rumble and even at the Elimination Chamber, I really like the idea of odds stacked against him and Roman just gets the fuck beat out of him, whether he retains or not. Because um, they could use that as a reason to take it off of him. Nobody looks weak if there's three other fucking guys trying to take you out. Right. Like, whoever wins that uh, comes out as champ and all the losers don't mm. look weak for it. Now, now I just used the term work. Uh, yeah. And that means to not actually hurt him, but to uh, to to work the move like yeah, like okay, yeah, yeah, just making yeah. sure. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a a shoot is when you the do real. it for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was just making sure I got my uh, wrestling terms. There. Yeah, that was good. That was fucking good, Brandon. That? I'm proud yeah. of you. I'm yeah, proud yeah, of yeah. you. I, 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 I do a little research. But I'll tell know. you one thing. <clears throat> uh-huh. If they don't get that belt off of Roman, I'm going to come out of retirement myself and take it off of him. I would I'm love sick that. and tired of this, Brandon. I would, yeah. He calls himself a fighting champion, yet he never defends. Mm-hmm. He he defended a handful of times last year. That's that's not acceptable. He's never there to represent the company in the championship. Oh no, that's not how I'm going to run this. No, I I will come out and take the championship back myself. Y- yes. Yes, J- Jesse Ventura, <laughs> you should do that. I would love to see your outside interference with no consequences. Excuse me. Why are there no co- you tell me why there's no consequences? Because uh He's gay. They see him win by cheating in every match, and they don't do anything to punish him. That's encouraging him to keep doing it. Mm-hmm. So is, is Roman Reigns a heel? We all understand he's a heel. That doesn't mean the writing is good. You should only be able to cheat so many times before a, a official, uh, an authority figure says, hey, what you're doing is bullshit, so... uh you know, we're going to stack everything against you. You have, have they ever tried waiting until the match was over and then having somebody run in and then and hurt Roman Reigns that way? I, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying this is good writing either, but the next time he cheats in a match, I want an official to come out and go, uh, no, 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 Roman, you just cheated. We all saw it. We're restarting the match. Oh. Okay. And, and then... Who knows what happens? Maybe he wins clean. Then maybe my whole argument is moot. Yes. Well, um, Roman Reigns is a, a fine wrestler. Damn talented. Man, fuck Roman Reigns. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man. I'm, look, I'm just saying I like wrestling. They you should know. bring Stone Cold back out of retirement. He's been back a couple times. Well, you know they brought him back at 
that WrestleMania. Uh, that was pretty dope. It was, but he had fucking both both of his fucking knees like in bionic. So fucking, now, now like, I, well, now I can officially <laughs> say it wasn't last year at WrestleMania. It was two years ago at WrestleMania. Yeah, that's and, right. Uh, and uh, oh, that's they brought Cody back two years ago at WrestleMania that's right. too. So, uh, anyways, yeah, he uh, wrestled Kevin Owens. Damn good match. Damn fine match. Anyways, tried to get him back last year. And uh, I can't I can't do a Stone Cold impression, so I'm just doing like the guy that likes Stone Cold uh, drinks Steve. Hell yeah, I brother. drink I drink my Steve Weisers from the the recliner that while I yell at my wife. Stone so, Cold. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, that's good, Brandon. Good job. What the fuck was I saying? <laughs> hey, anyways, they man, tried, they tried to get him back <clears throat> last year. They tried to get him back for Mania last year, but he's doing a show. It's like Steve Austin takes on America or some gay shit. Anyways. He, <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't do Mania. So here's here's the thing. They've been trying to get Rock every year for Mania. They've been trying to get Austin every year for Mania. I have every reason to believe they're going to do the same this year. Maybe we'll see them both. Maybe we'll see one or the other. But, uh, you know, they nearly well, booked a perfect card last year at WrestleMania. Only thing I would have changed about the outcomes in WrestleMania, Roman beats Cody. It would have been a perfect two. WrestleMania is two nights now. It would have been a perfect two nights. You just have... Cody win the belt off him, and then everyone goes. Well, where do you go from there? There's no story to tell. Fuck you, man. I could. I if if your writers can't figure out where to go from there, I could at least point you in the right direction. That's so many fucking put, story. They lines. put him in a fucking feud with Brock Lesnar after he lost against Roman. Guess what? That feud could have involved Cody with the belt on the line. Yeah, but I mean no. they've got. Fucking but no, fuck me. I guess. Oh, John Cena's coming back too, right? Uh, he's been he he wrestles at least once a year. He was recently back and he was in a really terrible fucking match and it, it may have, may or may not be his retirement. Yeah, um, I didn't realize probably how... not. I think it'll be a big deal when it's his actual when it's his actual actual last match. I think it'll be a huge deal and they're gonna make a huge fucking deal out of it. Yeah, I I didn't realize how long he'd been doing it. I was uh my my recent interests have been uh, watching old uh, G four. Somebody is just like. Uh, started uploading like VHS, like oh, yeah. like recorded VHS copies of just the whole. <laughs> like it's even got the commercials from the time, and it's like a fucking time machine. But they were, it's a X play. They're reviewing like WWE 07 or something like that, yeah. or like yeah, it would have been WWE at the time, right? Like SmackDown versus Raw, something, or something. like that. And fucking like, John Cena was in, and I was like. Oh man, that's crazy. He's been around for a while. Oh yeah. I just I think of him as a new wrestler, no. but then I go and watch like current wrestling, and I'm like, I don't know who fucking anybody is. Like, Sheamus was like a thing for a while, and now he doesn't wrestle. He does. He's he's. Been, I've never seen him in a match. Not been, that I watch religiously. He's been gone for a couple months. No, he wrestled a lot the last two years. Has he? Yeah. yeah, he's been in the. He's kind of been in the intercontinental and U.S. championship picture. So good. I think there may have been uh, he may have been in a match for a qualifier for like number one contender for a main championship, but I think his his main goal right now is to get the intercontinental title because it's the only one he hasn't held. So, Sheamus, yeah, but right now Gunther's the IC champion. He's the longest reigning IC champion ever, and he's like his character is like evil German. <laughs> I mean, with so the name he, like Gunther. So he has brought uh, honor to this prestigious intercontinental heavyweight champion. He doesn't sound anything like that. He's oh, He's really? got a much more thick accent. Yeah. Oh, no, a he's, thicker accent. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, no, he just talks normal. He's just <laughs> he doesn't talk like, I don't want to say a stereotypical German accent. He doesn't talk like this, like he has like a bit of an accent. Does he say no. Vira? This is, this is W's no, as but according to him, his name is Gunther. My name is Gunther. Yeah. Gunter. Yeah, it's good times. Maybe he's uh maybe he's uh more of a, you know, uh, Maybe maybe he's not from Germany. I honestly don't know where he's from. You watch uh, you watch The Northman yet? Nope. God damn, that movie gets my dick rock hard. There's a bunch of movies I need to watch. I I might get um HBO Max just to watch some shit I haven't seen. Yeah. Um no, I, I I really like the Northman, and I really like uh the the lighthouse with uh, Willem Dafoe and uh um uh 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 oh, yep. my boyfriend I can't think of his Pattinson? name Pattinson is that yeah name? Robert Pattinson um <laughs> or as I like to call him Pattinson yeah am yeah, I right brother yeah you know he's fucking uh, Batman 
Yeah, that's right. Is that like the fucking colony? That guy that was in all those fucking movies like fucking Harry Potter and fucking yeah, Twilight. And yeah, he was at Twilight. He's a fucking by Kundal by kind of lingual. <laughs> you know, he fucking yeah. This summer starring Robert Pattinson. You know, by kind of lingual. <laughs> <laughs> if I was to recut the Twilight movies, I would have I would have uh, made it to where. I think Bella was, was it that her name? Bella? Sure. So it's like, you know. I've uh, seen the Twilight movies. So it's like the werewolf guy and then Robert Pattinson is the vampire guy and they're both fighting over Bella. Mm-hmm. I th- I think that we should remake it because that's the thing to do nowadays is wait like two years and then just like is redo it Edward the, the vampire. Edward, yeah, yeah. Okay, Edward and then the, the wolf is named like Toby or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's, Toby. That's not it. Yeah, no, it's not. It was, but, it was Team Edward and Team Jacob. Jacob, okay, yeah, yeah. So Jacob, yeah, no. Jacob and Edward. Th- so like we do like half the movie where they're like trying to fight over Bella, right? And then they figure out that she sucks and then they're like, well, we should just fuck each other. <laughs> and and then, then that's the movie. Broke back Twilight. Yeah. I think that would be a much better film. Because yeah. I, you know, sh- uh, Shark Boy, uh, much more attractive than the, the Bella. And uh, then Robert yeah, Pattinson yeah. is gross and pasty in that movie. But uh, we put their brown and his pasty but, white yeah. bodies together. I mean, I think that would make a beautiful chocolate vanilla swirl that I would enjoy uh, watching on screen. Yeah, this is really good content. Could, would Google what the vampire's name was. Is there a Sebastian in Twilight? I don't know. We've got uh, Jasper. We're at the uh, end of our uh, episode this week, and uh, we just want to thank you guys for um, uh, joining us. Is it uh, Jasper? And uh, Jasper the vampire from Twilight. And uh, coming along for the ride, uh, being here with us. Um, it's a really good story. Yeah, yeah, voice. Jasper, Jasper Hale. Hell yeah, brother. There's a, there's a bunch of fucking people like <clears throat> there was Bella Swan and Edward Cullen, Jacob Black and Charlie Swan, Alice Cullen, Victoria, Emmett Cullen and Janet Volturi, James and Jared and Rosalie Hale, Jessica Stanley, Alec and Lauren, Caius Jasper Hale, Carlisle Cullen, Arrow Paul, Eric, director, producer, 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 <laughs> producer, producer. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's I guess the I... <laughs> end of the world as we know it. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, uh, I don't know the lyrics to that. Otherwise, I would do the fast part. That was a podcast. Well, you'd have to say the names really fast. Yeah. It's like, suck my cock, pull it up. <laughs> uh, suck my cock, pull it off, saw it off if you can't. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You knew what you were doing. Get the, uh, get the tongs. I don't know. It's the end of <laughs> my dick, as I know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You knew what you were doing. Oh yeah, yeah. Party girl, aren't you? Bye. I have to pee now. Penis. <laughs>